Hi guys, welcome to Catch Your Plus on Affordable TV, your one-stop shop for everything about culture. I'm your girl, La Bevitian. Let's see some of the trending stories this week. <music> Eight Nigerians have been selected to represent their country as finalists for the U.S. Embassy and Catalyst Story Institute filmmaking project. Now, these eight Nigerians will be competing against nine others from nine other countries around the world. Some interesting news. Now, Kanye West is no longer keeping up with the Kardashians. He recently unfollowed the entire family from Twitter, except for his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. Now, this is coming quite a few days after he was spotted in Paris with his Russian model super girlfriend or not girlfriend. We're not so sure right now, but word on the street is they've been seeing each other for a couple of months. So the begs the question, did he actually ban the rest of the Kardashian clan from Twitter because he's trying to hide his new boo? Let me know your thoughts on that story. Nigeria in the past 10 days has lost about 24.7 billion naira because of the Twitter ban that was imposed by the federal government in Nigeria. Now, according to NetBlocks, a site that analyzes uh, how many people use uh, social media, they have as estimated that every hour Nigeria is on Twitter ban, they lose 102.9 uh, million naira, which is a scary thought if you come to think about it. Now, the Director General of the Joint Association of Chambers of Commerce, Mines, Agriculture, Industry has said that this is a disruption for a lot of people, especially for small-scale business who depend absolutely on this site to make sure their business is conducted. Now, speaking of Twitter ban, Adamu Gaba's Crow app, which came right after the Twitter ban has been deleted from the Google App Store. Now, he was the one person that was very much in support of the ban, pushing Nigerians and asking them to go download his app and support uh, an indigenous app. But when Nigerians went there, they were not happy about it. Of course, there were lots and lots and lots of bad reviews for the app, as well as some of the tech a Nigerian guys found out that Crow's uh, terms and condition is a copycat from the app Spotify and when it was actually analyzed turned out to be true. A president of a country who is democratically and legitimately elected to be the leader of a nation making a statement talking giving a language we will communicate in the language that they understand and that becomes a very serious uh, issue to Twitter and violating their rules. We don't know what kind of rule is that. And then they decided to embarrass the country, not the president. So therefore, they have to be suspended. You know, as you rightly said, I took them to court during answers process simply because I noticed exactly what these guys are trying to do is to break this country. They tend to amplify a lot of fake news and rise a lot of tension in the street, making the country to be more destroyed. So the best solution is to see how we can arrest them. And we did that. So far, we do not know when the ban will be uplifted, but we'll keep you posted right here as the story unfolds. When you work for somebody who has a lot of money, you are bound to be loud all the time. Like the DMW's facility manager who was heard yelling at the airport with a belt in his hand. Take a look. <laughs> A lot of Nigerians took to the street on Democracy Day to protest against the ongoing of increasing insecurity in Nigeria, bad governance, the Twitter ban, and a lot more of things that uh, things that have gone on addressed. Now we caught up with some of the celebrities at the protest, and here's what they got to say. But well, we are here today because of corruption. We are here today because of the nepotism. Look at the, the level of insecurity that we have been dealing with since since uh, the time this administration came in till now you know when and when nigerians speak they are not speaking the government is quick to always think that nigerians are fighting them like it's a war and they always take it to be as if we are at war we don't have their guns we do not have their guns all we have is our voice is our voice
welcome to Catch Up Plus on Movies. I am Ahine Atta, bringing you all that is trending in the world of movies. Now let's catch up. Nollywood filmmaker Ni Akimulayo, the director of The Wedding Party 2, Prophetess, and My Village People, has urged his fellow filmmakers to be more stricter in dealing with actors. The filmmaker tweeted, Nigerian producers will need to be stricter with actors because eventually crew will be strict on overtime costs. If you can't punish actors for coming late, then be ready to pay crew overtime. There is also a thing with lunch breaks. We have to get serious about this work. The filmmaker's tweet has received a lot of response from actors and filmmakers, some in support and others in defense. Comedian and actor Macaroni responded to the tweet saying, Valid, sir. But who will now punish producers for the way they treat upcoming actors or the people they don't perceive to be stars? Upcoming talents suffer most in this industry. Some of them will be on set for up to five days or more for just one scene. Moving on, another Nollywood filmmaker has expressed her displeasure over film critics tagging filmmakers on their negative reviews about their films. Isyama Osaji, popular for her work in Quam's Money, Up North and Who's the Boss, tweeted, Association of Nollywood Critics, stop tagging us on your negative reviews. I know you will tell me your intentions are noble, but don't worry, focus on your audience. So guys, what do you think about this? Do you think that Nollywood filmmakers should be only tagged on positive reviews? What's your take on this? Let us know in the comment section. In other news, we have a new black female superhero. And guess who it is? Actor, writer, producer, and executive Issa Rae can now add superhero to her resume. The Insecure star has been added to the cast members of the sequel to the 2018 Oscar-winning animated feature film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse as Jessica Drew, also known as Spider-Woman. So we can now call Issa Rae, Rae Spidey. Or what do you think? Nigerian British actor John Boyega left Netflix Rebel Ridge amidst shoot, citing family reasons as the cause for his sudden exit. While production has been paused, Netflix is presently scouting for a replacement for the Star Wars actor. The film explores the systematic inequality in America in the context of action, suspense, and dark humor. My dear fans should be very excited. Tyler Perry is bringing back his beloved character for an all-new adventure on Netflix. Tyler Perry will write, direct, and star in the film donning Madea's dress, her wig, and her devil may care attitude one more time. You know, some time ago, Tyler Perry said he's done with Madea. But according to the filmmaker, he had to bring back her character because the world needs joy and laughter. But between you and I, do you think he's bringing back this character because the world needs joy and laughter? Or he's bringing her back to make some money. This is my dear saying I'm coming back and I'm on Netflix. I can't wait to take it so fast out. Damn it. Hey. My dear's coming to Netflix. We need to laugh, man. Too much is going on in the country. We need to laugh. So I was done. But I, but I wasn't. But she's coming back. My dear, I am with it. I'm here. I am. My dear. And finally, Play Network Studios remake of Amaka Igwe's classic, Rattlesnake the Ahana Story, is coming to Netflix. Now fans can watch this film from the comfort of their home from any part of the world. This is particularly good news because the film was released in cinemas in November 2020, just a few months after the easing of lockdown in Nigeria. Amid the pandemic, the film still grossed 70 million at the local box office. Also, Robert Peter's Voiceless is going to be out on Netflix this month. It's going to be a month of thrilling movies on Netflix. All right, guys, that's all on this week's episode on Catch Up Plus on movies. Let's do this again next week. My name is Ahine Ato. <laughs>
The attackers claim to have downloaded source code for games such as FIFA 21 and for proprietary Frostbite Games engine used as the base for many other high-profile games. Now, a spokesperson for the company is saying that even though they're investigating the hack at the moment, they're assuring their customers that no personal data of the players were compromised during the hack. Microsoft's E3 press conference was filled with a lot of heavy hitters, including the next Halo and also a first look at a Bethesda Star Space game, which now has a release date. Take a look at the teaser. This is all we've been working towards. Jonathan Rout looks good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array is full. Check. Your space lane is clear. That's why we're here. Main engines go. Ignition. discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. Vodafone UK has chosen Samsung as its new 5G supplier for its new infrastructure in hopes to expand its coverage. One analyst described the move as a breakthrough for Samsung in a market expected to be dominated by Ericsson and Nokia after the UK joined other countries in banning Huawei products. Now, Samsung Kit will initially be installed in 2,500 rural sites in the southwest of England and most of Wales. <music> All right, guys, that's it for this edition. Make sure to click on that subscribe button and follow us on all our social media platforms. You've been watching Catch Up Plus on Forever TV, your one-stop shop for everything pop culture.